What is up, YouTube? Carla here. Welcome to the vlog. This is the channel where we talk about sneakers, life, and tech. And for this episode, I'm excited to bring you guys my on-feet review and unboxing of one of the sneakers that has really caught my imagination ever since it was announced online. This is the Adidas Sobakov Boost. Let's go! Now, if you guys have subscribed to the channel yet, please make sure that you do so because we regularly do giveaways on this channel. In fact, guys, we just announced the winner of the raffle for the Easy 350 Boost V2 Creams. The link to that video can be found down below in the description box as well as in the comments section. However, we're not stopping there. I just announced a new giveaway wherein we're giving away Marshall Major 3 wireless headphones. And I will be putting the link to the, this particular giveaway down below as well. You have to be subscribed to this channel. You have to follow me on Instagram. You have to follow Digital Walker on Instagram. And you have to click the link down below to see the rest of the mechanics on how you can win a brand new Marshall Major 3 wireless headphones. With that out of the way, let's get to the unboxing. So as you guys can see, the Adidas Sobakov Boost comes in this really sleek black box. You have the Sobakov branding here at the top in gold. You have the Adidas Trefoy logo over here as well. And then you have the details of the shoe along the side of the box. I did go through to size on this pair and it does retail here in the Philippines for 8,000 pesos, that's roughly 150, 160, 170 US dollars if you convert it to USD. So if you pop the box open, there's nothing too special about it. You just get your regular tissue paper and your regular cart inner carton, and then you get to the actual shoe. So here you guys have it. This is the Adidas Sobakov Boost. And as you can see, it does keep a lot of the original design of the Sobakov intact. The upper is still that same exaggerated three-stripe thing along the lateral and the medial side. You have almost the same material, knit and mesh material for the upper. And then you have that almost, I don't know, like exaggerated wavy midsole here starting from the middle until the very end of the shoe. However, there are several elements that are different with the sneaker compared to the original. The first one is obviously the one why it's called the Sobakov Boost. The heel part of the shoe is now made out of Boost technology of Adidas. That's the same Boost technology that you see with the Adidas Pure Boost, with Adidas Ultra Boost, with Adidas EQT, with the ZX500 RM, and a bunch of other Boost equipped sneakers. So they put the Boost technology here at the heel part. However, when you get to the mid part of the shoe, all the way until the very end. It's the same material that they used with the typical Sobakov. Now, the question you're probably thinking is, Carlo, is it comfortable? Carlo, is it better than the original shoe? My answer to that is a resounding yes. I had the original Sobakov. I did the review of the original Sobakov and it did not pass my standards. In fact, I found it to be a ridiculously uncomfortable sneaker because of that solid block that they put along the medial side that just really stuck up and hit the side of my shoe. Maybe because I have wide feet, I'm not too sure why that was the case. And it was just a shoe that hurt. And it was just so uncomfortable and I didn't give it any like glowing recommendations when I did the original review for that shoe. The link to that one, by the way, I will put down below in the description box in case you guys haven't seen it yet. So there is a significant upgrade when it comes to the comfort, especially because of the boost part that you guys see here at the back. However, apart from the boost technology that they equipped here, there are also several other key changes. The first of which is the exaggerated tongue that you guys have over here, very reminiscent of skate shoes. So there is this like leather tongue badge that covers the big part of the sneaker and it does take up a significant part of the top of the shoe. Looks really kick-ass if you ask me. I like the styling. I like the overall look of it. Might be polarizing. Some people might not, like, might not like it, but for me personally, I find it appealing. Now, what does the tongue do? The tongue actually helps a lot with the entrance of the sneaker. So it's not as tight anymore because it is not super attached. It's actually easier to put your feet on in the new Sobakov Boost. Apart from that, the material that they use for the upper, I think is significantly different because it does have a little more give. It is a little bit looser. So if you put your feet in, Again, it's not as constricting. You do have a little more breathing room, which helps with the comfort. In short, 
all of the issues that I had with the original Sobakov, why I couldn't give it a good review, all of my major pain points were solved with Adidas Sobakov Boost. And that's why I am loving this sneaker. I highly recommend this one, especially if you guys are digging this design. Now, when it comes to design, obviously, it is very personal. It is very subjective. If you like the overall look, at least you know that it is comfortable. It does deliver on the performance and the cushioning. Now, the good news is there are a lot of images already of different colorways of the Adidas Sobakov coming soon. There is even a sneaker consortium collaboration uh, that's on the way. So if you don't like the black and gold vibes of this particular sneaker, just wait until the new colorways of the Sobakov Boost come out in the market. So there you guys have it. That is my on-feet review and unboxing of the Adidas Sobakov Boost. Now, while you guys are already here, let me just throw in another sneaker review. So consider this a double sneaker review episode. This is one of my favorite Air Force Ones and it is general release. What does general release mean? It's not limited. It's not hard to get. You can probably walk in like a capital sneaker store if you were a little bit early and you can't pick it up for retail. This is the Air Force One in the off-white colorway or the cream colorway or the dirty white colorway, whatever colorway you want to call it. And I am loving this sneaker. This one just sells for under $100, roughly around 4,500, 4,800 pesos here in the Philippines. And it is one of the best low-cost affordable Air Force Ones that you guys can pick up. Three reasons why. Number one, it doesn't crease as fast. They use some sort of like tumble leather for the upper. So even if you, you know, like mash it left and right, if you press hard on it, if you beat it up, the creases don't appear as bad because of the tumble leather material that they use for the upper of the sneaker. And that, I think, is the reason also why they use tumble leather a lot with the new Air Force Ones, mainly because they want to protect it from the creasing. So if you are afraid or annoyed with creasing, this is probably the Air Force One to get, or at the very least, look for Air Force Ones with the same material that you guys see here. Apart from that, I am loving the accent of the black part of the outsole. So style-wise, I am digging the sneaker. You see that black part over here gives it a little more accent and pop, which also gives it a little bit more versatility because you can actually swap in the black laces that it comes in. So it does have black laces. You can go with the white one. You can go with the black one. You can go with the white one and the black one. I don't know whatever it is that you guys want. So if you want to keep it subtle, you want to keep it low-key, you want to keep it classy, go with the all-white look if you want to give it a little more hype a little more style and a little more personality you can swap in the black laces which matches the black part of the outsole looks pretty sick either way and lastly i just love how comfortable air force ones are so all of those three things combined the overall look the style the value the non-creasing uh, the versatility with swapping the laces all in that package all in that less than 100 dollar package for me makes this an amazing sneaker that i would recommend easily recommend to anybody looking for a shoe with a budget these days definitely guys two thumbs up very high marks for this Air Force One, which I picked up from Capital Philippines. And that actually wraps up our episode for today. Two reminders before we end. Again, guys, we are giving away a Marshall Major 3 Bluetooth headphones. All you guys have to do to be able to join the raffle is number one, to subscribe to my channel, follow me on Instagram, follow Digital Walker on Instagram. This is an 8,000 peso or almost 180 or 170 US dollar smartphone. So make sure that you guys, you know, join the raffle because joining is free. Uh, secondly, you might want to check out my Instagram stories right now because the video for tomorrow will be fun. I will be doing like a Q&A. So I did post out an IG story asking for people to throw in some questions and i will be picking anywhere from 10 to 20 questions and i will be answering them in tomorrow's vlog just so it's different because we've done so many shoes we've done so many toys we've done so many tech in the last few days and i just wanted to sit down and answer questions so we can get to know a little bit you know more better uh tomorrow in tomorrow's vlog so if you guys have any burning questions that you want to ask that you want to know about me please do check out my instagram account i will put a link down below and it should appear somewhere here it's at, at carlo ople and go to my ig stories and there is an ig story there that asks for questions so guys that's it for today i hope you enjoyed i hope you are all having a great week and i pray that you all have a fantastic weekend up ahead that's it for now peace god bless what's up Oh, I really love the Huawei Watch GT. If you guys want to see the review of this one, 
I'll also link it down below. God bless. Boom.